Hello, this is Olivier from Runimal Games and with me is Robin. Uh, we're going to show you a match of Awesome Knots that was played recently by other Runimo devs. Uh, for those who are not familiar with the game, Awesome Knots is a side-scrolling battle arena game that's coming out for XBLA and PSN in the coming months. And we just wanted to show you how an awesome match can play out, so uh, we hope you like it and let's get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. So, it's red versus blue on the red team. We have uh, Yuri, the flying space monkey, Froggy G, the bouncy frog, and Sheriff Lone Star, the cowboy. And if you look at Team Blue, we see they have uh, Volter the Omniscient, which is a healer, a uh, clunk, uh, a heavy character who has a lot of health. And we More also have sweat. Leon Chameleon, who Joy is kind of their, in their setup, he's kind of their killer. Yeah, a lot of uh, stuff is gonna come down on the team play between uh, Voltar and Clunk. Um, it's kind of the classic combo. It's the a healer classic, with the tank. Yeah, it the healer tank works. combo. It, it's a really good combo, and uh, what Team Red is uh, uh, gonna have to do is try to take out uh, the healer, take out Voltar and take down the rest of the team after that. But uh, Team Blue is gonna try to not let Voltar die because he's pretty fast. Also, Team Red is kind of a more uh, unique setup. Oh, we see Lone Star is already going at the turret on his own. When, uh, when the rest of his team is fighting in the top lane there, he just went for the, the bottom turret. That's pretty smart. Uh, Team Blue reacts immediately though, coming down with both uh, Clunk and Voltar. Uh, those two guys will be sticking around each other through the course of the game, I would imagine. Uh, not very handy to leave Voltar uh, alone. Oh, Lone Star gonna kill Leon. Uh, no, he's gonna get away. Does Lone Star get away as well? Yes, picks up health in the middle. Uh, doing some jungling, putting some pressure on the summoner on Voltar. It's already pretty hectic in the beginning. See Yuri popping in and out of the bushes on his own. See, he seems to be putting down mines in his yeah. hidden area. Yeah, see Clunk jumping down oh, jumping right into the mines. Almost dying as well. Not many kills yet. No kills, actually. Um, Yuri is playing pretty defensively. Uh, that's a uh, style of uh, playing with Yuri. Oh, Leon going for Yuri now. Yeah, is he gonna get away? I don't... Yeah, he is gonna get away. Even dropping a mine on Clunk on his way out. <laughs> the ultimate insult. And there See, you go. See, Voltar and Clunk in kind of the setup that you're most, most powerful in. You just Clunk in the front with a few minions and Voltar healing everything in front of him. Gets him a lot of money. Uh, usually you just get money from getting kills, but as Voltar can only heal for now, uh, that's kind of the way he gets some money. Yeah, so their trick is really just to let Clunk take all the damage and let Voltar do all the healing. So their team get keeps on high health. Uh, Clunk a little bit on the low side right now. They have to probably watch out for Yuri. Uh, Yuri doing a good job of defending that turret with its uh, three small mines that he drops every time. Yeah, he just upgraded. He always starts out with his mine dropping ability, but uh, usually it's just one large mine. But as he upgrades, he can change it to three smaller mines, which are a lot better at harassing, but maybe not quite as good as getting kills. Yeah, it's a uh, personal choice, actually. If you, if you want to go for playing more defensive, more annoying, being an all-round jackass, actually, then you uh, then oh, you take and Lone the start going in for a jump on Leon, but he gets Stuff away. Stuff going down. Leon gets away again. No kills yet in this match. Oh, Clunk's got his explode, and he always takes out uh, Lone Star with it on his first attempt. Lone Star still playing aggressive though. Almost dies for it. Clunk jumping into the mines again. Uh, it's a pretty risky move, but as he has a healer with him, and the other t uh, players on his team have a lot less health than he does, that might actually be for the best. He's just clearing out the mines from Yuri. It's got to go down some sometime. You can see Team Red has a little bit of trouble with the healing ability from Voltar. They keep damaging uh, Clunk, but they never get him down because of the healing that Voltar does. And the oh, team has to go back to base a lot more often to heal. 
and the blue team can just stick around and go back to the base uh, if they want some upgrades. There's a lot more flexibility for them. Yeah, Clunk almost gets taken out. Froggy G, very agile. It's surprising we haven't seen any kills just yet, because we do see players at low health quite a bit. And Froggy G going back to the jungle to kill some neutral enemies, which should give him some health back. And Jetter is doing a pretty good job at belting the whole top lane with mines. Team Blue. Oh, oh, there he goes. There he Taken go. out by the turret. Yeah. Uh, Chameleon just pulled uh, Froggy G in there. And he had no chance, no way of getting away. So now Team Blue really needs to push because they have an advantage. And Yuri also has very low health. Well, you know, just picking up some more health in the jungle. Missed the stun, though. That's very critical in order to play good Chameleon. You need to have some good tongue pulls. Lone Star tries to push Leon into the mines from Yuri. Clunk blowing himself up in misses oh, and Clunk, dies. Clunk dies. And Lone Star is Lone Star go away? taken no. out as well. Leon immediately avenges his team member. So things are pretty even. No. Oh, it takes out Yuri? Oh, yes, he does. Yeah, Yuri is dying. So starting to look like Team Blue is getting the upper hand in this part of the match. Yeah, whenever an enemy dies, the entire enemy team uh, gets some money. So that really helps Team Blue get a, get a, get ahead right now. So Froggy G jumping around a little bit, trying to put a little bit of pressure on the top blue turret. Seems to be the only one left in the field as both his yeah. team members are dead and the entire blue, uh, blue team just went back to get some upgrades. Yep. Clunk blowing himself up again. Yeah, not really hitting someone in the process, though. It's it's very scary for the enemy players, though. They don't have a lot of health. Clung just misses his bite on the on Yuri. And you guys picked up the ensnare ability. Clunk has a uh, bite ability where he gets back a little bit of health from the enemy that he bites. Uh, and he just picked up the ability to uh, also make it snare. So every time he bites something now, it will be snared. And that works very well with this explodability, because if he bites, it's rooted for about two seconds, maybe a bit less. Uh, but whenever he does, you can just stand right next to it and wait for his explode to go Is off. Lone Star going to oh, get away? Yes, he just evades the clunks explode. Well, that was really gross. Maybe a little bit of luck there. Lone Star's been pushing it for a while. Yeah, Lone Star has dealt a lot of damage to the blue turret in the bottom lane. Oh, there uh, he goes. There he goes. Lone Star Pretty just good. got away using the exact same tactics, but Punk just got him right now. He paid for his sins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so getting your oh, using Yuri his is getting Yuri as well. well. Yeah, oh, no, Yuri. Yeah. So Plunk playing a very good match here. He's just picked up two kills there. I'd say Team Blue is a little bit in the lead right now. So let's see if Team Blue can make use of this opportunity to push on bases. No, the Chameleon is going for a uh, Solar Boss kill. Gets him quite a bit of money. Uh, he's not that uh, easy to take down early game. But it gets especially difficult if you get jumped while attacking him. Then he just starts dealing a lot of damage to everyone around yeah, him. Yeah, you're, you're taking a huge risk uh, trying to take down that solar boss. So you can actually only do it when an enemy is down or somewhere where you have Clunk. an event. is almost dying. Yuri almost dying. And there oh, goes... Oh, Leon sneaking up on Yuri. Yeah, that's Takes very smart. No you chance at all for Yuri there. James Froggy G can't follow through that uh, little hole. Steals the health pick up. Uh, Froggy G and Clean Chameleon oh. don't seem to like each other. They've <laughs> been fighting a lot, but no kills yet between those guys, and I see, think. Volta really at his best. Uh, with a lot of means in front of him, he can just heal them all at the same time. Yeah, this is really where uh, Volta shines. He's healing the tank and he's healing uh, his minions with that AoE heal. And I think. Lung very low health and dies for it. Lung dies. Leon the immediately avenging Lone Star. The turret dies. Turret dies. Uh, Team Red still intact though. Uh, Broggy G going back to the shop to pick up uh, a stun upgrade for his dash. So he stuns a little bit longer. That's a very helpful upgrade. Uh, stunning your opponents a little bit longer can help your, uh, your fellow team members also just jump right in. 
Yeah, that's a very good choice. They have enough uh, damage potential on their side, so adding a little bit of stun uh, only amplifies that. And we here see Volter trying to heal Super Creep. Uh, whenever your uh, your team destroys an enemy turret, you spawn one of these big guys, you do a lot of damage. And as you can see, he takes out an entire wave of minions in almost one hit. Yeah, let's see if Team Blue can make this one really count and take out its second bottom tower as well. You oh. can see Jetter coming in the back, laying mines back there. Cutting What's off their escape, yeah, Voltar, yeah. he just runs right into the mines and can't get away. Yeah, Voltar dies because of it. That's pretty smart actually. Leon picking up an, yet another kill. Yeah, that's kind of the... Yuri was very good at cutting off their escape, but that did leave him very exposed. Especially in such a narrow area, he can't fly away. Yeah, not too much damage done to the red tower though, though so the defense worked. Froggy G picking up the tornado ability. And some cooldown reduction on his dash attack. So, tornado ability is an ability where uh, Froggy G dashes around in a watery water sprout of wateriness and it deals a lot of damage to a nearby opponent. Oh, Froggy G having a very nice escape from the clunk explode. Even get some help by Yuri. Yuri just flying around trying to do as much damage with its laser healing guys with its time bubble. Apparently it got the healing upgrade for its time bubble. So normally the time bubble only slows your enemies, but you can upgrade it to making a healing bubble as well. So it heals guys around you. Should help Team Red stay in the field a bit longer. Yeah, the, their weak side really is survivability. They have three uh, low health guys with a lot of damage output, so the uh, healing bubble is uh, pretty uh, complementary to that. Oh, Clunk taken out by a red turret. Is this turret going down? Yes. Lone Star evens up the score in terms of turret kills. So everything is uh, pretty equal. Yuri playing uh, annoying as always. Gonna die? No, gets away again using his time bubble. Yeah, that's really. In a fight with uh, Leon, that's really a strength. Leon can't jump that high, and uh, Yuri can just fly away. He's a bit taking a bit of risk, though. Oh, and it pays off. They, his entire team kills Leon. Yeah, a lot of damage output actually from the laser there and the, uh, the little mines. Mines don't do that much damage uh, per mine. But uh, when he drops just that much, there is actually no way to avoid them all. And your opponent is going to take a lot of damage, so it can work out pretty Froggy well. Froggy G dying from the turret off screen. So that's again a three on two for Team Blue. So Team Red has going to pull something out of they their sleeves right lost now. Lost their second turret. They are behind in turret. Voltar taking quite a bit of risk, standing there with such low health. Is Voltar gonna die for it though? No. Doesn't look like it. He's right in front of his turret. The Chameleon going up. Pretty much looking for killing as much enemy champions as possible as he is an assassin type hero. Picks up Lone Star, almost dies in the process. An ally has been killed. Yuri also trying to take out the solar boss but not really succeeding. And he got humiliated. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, see, uh, Froggy G going for uh, what he thinks to be a very low health Leon, but apparently it's just his clone that's walking around. Yeah, every time Leon cloaks, he leaves behind a little clone, uh, which looks exactly like him. So that's a good way to trick enemies into uh, thinking you're somewhere you're actually not. So, both are actually doing a good job of uh, playing defensive. A lot of stuff going down here. Tank exploding, hitting no one though. Team Red is doing a pretty good job at avoiding those. Oh, Leon tank is explosions. almost dead. And so is Voltar, and Froggy G just collects them both, picking up That's a lot of money. 
That's a really good move. And I think that Team him. Red needs to uh, make something happen right now. Yeah, they, they really need to push. Team they, Blue only has Clunk left in the field. He yeah. can't do all that much on his own. They're not that far behind in kills, but uh, they're pushing a little uh, less hard. Although they have good damage output, they just don't have the lasting power uh, that the tank, uh, Clunk and uh, Voltar give uh, to Team Blue. Lone Star using the time available to him to just collect some more money. Is Team Red gonna take this turret? No, not yet, or are uh, they... Clunk just hate me now. Yep. Yuri. Turret goes down. Yuri goes down, though. Oh. That's a very nice escape from Froggy G. Froggy G going back to the shop once more. You see, Team Red has to go to the shop very often. They well, just don't have the can touch problem. this, which is perhaps mo his most important defensive upgrade. Now, if he's using Tornado, he'll turn invulnerable for a short amount of time. That's and actually pretty smart. So that's a very good defensive move. Uh, now Froggy G can kind of take on the role as uh, a tank, so he can take a little bit of damage while uh, using his tornado ability. And they're really focusing on a push right now. They have their super droid with them. Yeah, they need to make something happen. Yeah, right. he deals a lot of damage against the turret, yeah. and the entire red team with very low health as well. Oh, they lost their super droid. Turret is going down though, those team blue doing a pretty good job of defending. But here comes Clunk to explode. Oh, yeah. He just kills both of them. Froggy G, Froggy G not getting, getting away. away. The entire red team has died. Let's see what Team Blue can do right this now. This is really... Team Blue really need, makes, needs to make this one count. They have no opposition. They can just waltz into the turret. Volts are keeping everything alive. If they don't take this down, they they're not going to do it. Let's see what they can make of it. Pushing the entire turret down in a single yep. push. Yeah, so that's what happens when your entire team dies. Are they going to make this their run for victory? It's if they do a lot of damage right now, they might actually just win this in a single go. Can they make their defense? That goes down, team. Whoa, Red that's lost. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Both Voltar and Leon dead. Is Clung going so down as Klung. well? Yeah, so now the entire blue team is down. So That's an entire turn. reversal in like 15 seconds. And now it's three against nil. Maybe Team Blue shouldn't have uh, tried to push the enemy core. I don't know. Pretty close. Let's see if Team Red can punish Team Blue for their insolence. <laughs> Froggy G making use of his invulnerability. Actually to turret. pushing two, two turrets at the same time. If they can take both of these down, they'll also get two super droids right around the same time, which could really help them in pushing. So but Leon, just very low health, but pushing Lone Star into a turret. Oh, is Lone Star going down? Yeah. Oh, no. It was Leon. And then Lone Star actually well. getting a kill. <laughs> that must hurt for Lone Star. That's humiliation. Oh, and taking Clung. out another rat team member. Yuri G dies. using his dash G to dying. escape. You can see uh, Froggy G's agility uh, focused upgrades uh, really start to pay off right now. He gets low health, but he's always fast enough and invulnerable while tornadoing to get away. Is he gonna die right now? No. no they're just really gonna focus on the base. They're, fo they're really focusing on the base, getting that down. Froggy G, not much health left, but Lone Star jumps in. Is Team Red able to put enough damage on Team Blue to destroy them? We haven't Voltar seen is going down, though. Voltar is dying. So, yeah, Clunk, no chance at all. Dying. It's now just Leon to defend. So uh, only Leon defending. The entire defending. red team can just waltz into the base, and they have no opposition right now. Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen right now. Team Blue does have that top turret, though. Froggy G seems to be going for the top turret. Whoa, Lone and Star and Yuri go for the base. Base is going down okay. really fast. Leon, Leon up a good defense, out though. Yuri. 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 Heading back into the base to heal up. Lone Star taking quite a bit of risk because he knows Leon might just pop behind him. Yeah. Taken out of insects. Should have gone back. And Froggy there G is using Froggy his invulnerability to, to block the first hit. 
Buggy G hightailing it out of there. Yeah, not through the top though, that's still blocked. Turning in vulnerable again, and yeah, he blocks the entire damage from the self exploded funk. So what's Team Blue gonna do against this Froggy G? It's just too fast, fast to catch. Are they gonna uh, they can't just chase really... him or? Oh, they seem to be going for a quick push. Maybe try yeah, to end the game just, really quick. They're just ignoring Froggy G and going for the base. Well, Leon kill. seems to be taken out. Seems to be uh, a clone of Leon actually taking the turret right now, and Leon fighting with uh, Froggy G in the bay. Oh, Froggy G taking out Leon. That might actually be a large problem for Team Blue. Yeah, yeah now no one is back to the defending. Out. Oh, and is Team Blue coming yeah. back in time? Voltar no. is, but he can't do much about it, and now they lost. And uh, Team Red picks they up the win. win. Nice. Wow, so that was a pretty nice match. Uh, yeah, pretty exciting in the end. Do you have anything to add to that, Robin? GG. GG, there you have it. And the game's coming out in the next few months. There's no real release date set yet. It's going to be on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation Network, so check it out. Uh, and as always, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, you know the links. Yeah, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. See you later.